Hey folks, and welcome to my solo commentary track for the Enchanted Queen Prince. What a tongue twister. Well, I wanted to clear a few things off the computer because we've been making so many videos lately. I usually make the videos, burn them to DVD, and then delete them because I don't really need to keep them because I already have them on DVD backed up and I have all the you know, unedited video on DV tapes. So I thought I would just go ahead and do this, you know, because this wasn't one, there wasn't too much to be said about, and I know MJ didn't really care about doing this one, because we're going to be doing, at some point in the next couple of weeks, the Chipmunks one, and the I Am Legend ones, which we just did. And there'll be one for Sweeney Todd when that's up, which is going to be up in a week or so. Well, this was a clip from, well, someone, t it was from the... Pincushion Man, but someone told me it was called the Balloon Land or something like that. Well, we got the tape from this, um, you know, Grandpa Monster put out at some point in the 80s a show, and the DVD came out a couple years ago, and it had him doing commentaries and talking over old cartoons, and that's where we got that from. Well, this video, though, that we did for the Enchanted Queen Prince, I mean, for the movie Enchanted, we pretty much just came up with this pretty much on the spot. MJ brought over some of this stuff for the video, but the day before, he saw this video with his friend of his and said, we gotta see this, you're definitely like this, Sean, so I said, well, since we're doing reviews for everything we see now, I thought we just came up with this idea on the spot. This video was all improv, there wasn't really much of a script for this. Mo the last two videos that we just did, Alvin the Chipmunks, was 100% scripted, same with I Am Legend. I personally think our videos turn out better when they're scripted. I used to think years ago, oh, let's just improv everything. I found that the best time to improv is when we're sitting at the desk, and sometimes if we come up with better lines on the spot, it's best to have like an outline just giving an idea of what to do. Like if we, you know, that's how we normally do it. I like to, like now though, I like to pretty much write a script and because then it makes it better for editing to make sure we have everything because sometimes when you don't do it like that you end up not having all you need like with these every so often I end up with not all the shots that I need so when I'm editing it I'm running into a lot of trouble the best thing I find too is to always get a lot of coverage shots and cutaways and something in case you end up forgetting to do something you have remember we lost the tickets at this point and we had to try and find them these were these free things I got when I bought the DVDs of um, Ratatouille, and you were supposed to be able to use them to get free admission to the movie, and they didn't work, which really sucked, because now movie tickets at this theater we go to, it's just a theater that has eight shows, that movies at regular time during the day are 9.50, which is crazy. It's crazy how much. They used to be, just about a year and a half ago, $6. I mean, they really went up, because the theater's going out of business, so it's not going to be there less even for about maybe a year at the most. And then this, I originally when we were doing those date videos, those we did the Murph's date, the new one, which did not turn out well. And the whole idea, we just did it and put it together, but we weren't that happy with it. But we bought these clothes for me to wear for my date. We were going to do one with me going on a date. So I just figured, what the fuck, I'll just put these things on, see what I would have looked like as a woman for the video, and I just did it. Although we didn't use makeup or anything like that, because I didn't feel like dealing with all that. Matt's friend who is a woman who knows how to do makeup, she was the one who did um, MJ's makeup in the video, so that's why his makeup looked better. We wouldn't have been able to do women's makeup because we don't wear women's makeup. We've done some makeup for some of our videos, but, you know, that's just silly makeup. Now I'm going to skip ahead to the scene at the end with my parents, and it's just going to cut on this video. So, this thing I just came up with the end. I figured, it's been such a long time since you've seen my parents in a video, so I figured this would be a good way to put them. Although, the line I said was a little screwed up, and I don't, I wish I would have reshot it, but I don't know. And this thing, it took so many takes to get this stuff right, because since we didn't have a script, we weren't really sure what to do at this point, so my dad came up with this whole idea at the end. So I think it turned out really well, and in case you're wondering if you can see more of my parents, you will in upcoming reviews, and he, there's talk that he might be in the Rambo video as Rambo, but we don't know yet. So thanks for watching. 